Just move slightly further to your right. Karen Fisser's sight is crucial to her job photographing those with disabilities. But due to a degenerative eye condition, she too is losing her vision and worries that without her sight, she may find it impossible to work. All the time, you, you're becoming more of a minimal person. You're not really being the person that you know inside you are. And in a way, you're becoming less visible. And that for me is a huge concern because I want to work, I need to work, and I want to participate in society. There are currently over two million people in the UK living with sight loss, more than half of which is preventable. And sight loss costs the economy more than £25 billion a year, mostly through loss of productivity. Yet only 1.5% of national research funding is currently invested in eye conditions. As a nation, we seem to focus more on support and care, which is extremely important. Uh, however, that's almost too late um, in, 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 in the cycle to intervene. So I think there's a need to balance at the earlier end and prevent those conditions. Joe Pepper was diagnosed with a rare eye condition at the age of nine, and his sight soon began to deteriorate. But five years ago, he took part in a clinical trial with dramatic results. I read four lines that I hadn't read for 10 years. I was told at 16 it wouldn't happen. I'm 28. 12 years later, I'm never losing my sight again. That's science. That's funding. That's what we need to do. Karen just wants to keep working for as long as she can. Somebody like myself could give and my sight impairment in some ways is my strength because it enables me to see the world differently. Actually, Charities say more investment is desperately needed to prevent sight loss and help change people's lives. Leila Hayes, 5 News. Good.